the fourth week in ordinary time. Our morning prayer begins today on page 406. Let's join together. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. Yahweh is mighty indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For Yahweh is a great God and a great king over all other gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains as well. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. O that today you would listen to Yahweh's voice. Harden not your hearts as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness. For these your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw everything I did. For forty years I was angry with them, and I said, They are a people whose hearts turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So I swore in my anger, they will never enter my place of rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Yahweh is mighty indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. Yahweh, as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may we, the light of your presence, set our hearts on fire with love for you. Amen. Our hymn for this morning's prayer is hymn number six, found on page 725. Christ whose glory fills the skies, Christ the rule, the only light. Son of righteousness, arise, triumph for the shades of night. Day spring from on high be near, day spring in my heart appear. Dark and cheerless is the morn, unaccompanied by thee. Joyless is the day's return, till thy mercy's beams I see, till thy inward light impart. Glad my eyes and warm my heart. Visit this soul of mine. Pierce the gloom of sin and grief. Fill me radiancy divine. Scatter all my unbelief. More and more thy self display. Shining to the perfect day. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. I long, yes, I long, and I faint for it with longing, to enter the courts of the Lord with my whole being, body, and soul. I will shout joyfully to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow builds her nest and takes her young at a place near your altar. O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, what joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their mind on the pilgrimage to destruction. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessings. They will continue to grow stronger and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. O God, 
Look with favor upon the king and shield. Show favor to the one you have anointed. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand everywhere. I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. For the Lord God is the sun and our shield. He gives grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. O Lord of hosts, for joy of those who trust in you. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you powers of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, you heavens. Bless the Lord, sun and moon. Bless the Lord, you stars of the skies. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all rain and dew. Bless the Lord, fire and heat. Bless the Lord, scorching wind and bitter cold. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, nights and days. Bless the Lord, light and darkness. Bless the Lord, lightning and clouds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all the earth. Bless the Lord, mountains and hills. Bless the Lord, everything growing from the earth. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, springs of water. Bless the Lord, seas and rivers. Bless the Lord, all water creatures. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, birds of the air. Bless the Lord, beasts of the wild. Bless the Lord, flocks and herds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, men and women everywhere. Bless the Lord, O Israel. Bless the Lord, priests and servants of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Lord, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael. Praise and exalt him above all forever. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. How good to sing praises to our God. How delightful and how fitting. The Lord is rebuilding Jerusalem and bringing exiles back to Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. How great is your love. His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. The Lord supports the humble, but he brings the wicked down into the dust. Bring out your hand thanks to the Lord. Sing praises to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds provides rain for the earth, and makes the grass to grow in mountain pastures. He gives food to the wild animals. He feeds the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the strength of a horse or in human might. No, the Lord delights in those who fear him, those who put their hope in unfailing love. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates and blessed your children within your walls. He sends peace across your nation and satisfies your hunger with the final, finest wheat. He sends his orders to the world. How swiftly his word flies. He sends the snow like wild wool. He scatters frost upon them like ashes. He hurls the hail like stones, who stands against the freezing cold. Then at his command, it will melt. He sends his winds and the ice thaws. He has revealed words to Jacob, his decree and regulations to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. They do not know his regulations. Praise the Lord. How lovely on is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God of hosts. Alleluia. A reading from 2 Timothy. Remember that Jesus Christ, the descendant of King David, was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will reign with him. If we die with him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny who he is. Blessed be the Lord our God, who guides us in paths of peace. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born to the house of his servant David. To his holy prophets he promised of old that, the world, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In his tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness, in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Blessed be the Lord our God, who guides us in paths of peace. Alleluia. Loving God, the rising sun chases away the night, just as the power of death is scattered throughout the resurrection. As we rejoice this morning in your presence, we thank you for your many gifts. For a community of faith which we share in our community. We give you thanks, Lord God. For those who with whom we work to share our common concerns, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the indications of your love at work in the world, we give you thanks, Lord God. For those who strive to bring about reconciliation, hope, and peace. We give you thanks, Lord God. The dawn of your love reveals your victory and brightens the lives of all who need you. In particular, this morning, we pray for the needs of the church and the world. For families suffering separation, discord, and pain, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those we seek to avoid because of our differences with them. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those isolated by sickness or sorrow, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For victims of violence and warfare, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For the witness of the Christian Church in Australia and the islands of the Pacific, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And in the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Today, Lord, I pray for my brother Jeff for continued healing following his heart attack and stroke. 
Grant him, Lord, your peace and your strength spiritually. Pray, O oh Lord, for all churches that they look to you to hear the message of the gospel. Put away all the excitement, all the glitz, all the glamour, and return back to you, O oh Lord, the simplicity and purity of faith. Father, may we know that Jesus dying on the cross for us to forgive us our sins is enough. That's the heart of the gospel. Why do we think we need to have more? I pray, O Lord, for my fellow priests, deacons, monks. Lord, that we can all serve you from our heart, serve you in simplicity, and serve you in truth. I pray for Archbishop Todd, Bishop Rob, Abbot Bernard, as they lead us, Lord, as they guide and direct. May their desire be for the growth of your people, which you put under their care. We pray for our churches in India today, O Lord. Grant each one growth in your way, spiritually as well as physically. Give them your peace. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of mercy, your love embraces all, and through the resurrection of your Son, you call each of us into your wonderful light, dispel our darkness, and make us a people with one heart and one voice forever singing the praise in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We praise you, O God, and we acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all the angels, all the powers of the heavens, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The way robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise. The Holy Spirit and advocate and guide. And you, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you did not abhor the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. And we believe you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, help your people. Bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with all your saints into everlasting glory. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and ordain his peace. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, thank you for joining me this morning in prayer on this Sunday, the first day of the week. And the day we have the great opportunity 
of going to Mass is celebrating the life, the death, the resurrection, and coming again of Christ and receive the holy sacrament of his body and blood. Friends, may God strengthen you this day. May you take your faith seriously and follow God each day. Let us always pray for one another.